Hello, I'm Gary Cleveland with Cleveland Helicopter Services here in Plymouth, Indiana. I want to give you a quick lesson on transverse flow effect and clear up some of the confusion that may be out there among student pilots. Transverse flow effect, according to the helicopter flying handbook, occurs at approximately 20 knots and before effective translational lift. So to understand this, let's draw a helicopter. And I will draw a counterclockwise rotating system for the purpose of this lesson. If you happen to be flying a helicopter that has a rotor system that turns clockwise, everything is just the opposite. So in my helicopter here, the rotor system is turning counterclockwise. The tail rotor is countering the torque by pushing to the right towards the tilden. Now as this helicopter takes off down the runway and reaches approximately 20 knots prior to effective translational lift, the helicopter flying handbook describes this front portion of the rotor system being introduced to clean air. So the rest of the rotor system is still operating in dirty air. This area of the rotor system is operating in clean air. This is due to the fact that the relative wind is changing, which is making the induced flow less and the angle of attack greater in that portion of the rotor system. That all adds up to more lift. Now, if you have more lift here in the rotor system, you're not going to feel it right there because of the rule of gyroscopic precession. Anytime you act upon a spinning object, the action is felt 90 degrees later in the plane of rotation. Due to gyroscopic precession, this added lift that is being felt or applied in the front of this rotor system is felt 90 degrees later in the plane of rotation, right here. This causes the helicopter to have more lift on the left, causing it to roll slightly to the right, and a pilot will eventually instinctively apply some left cyclic on takeoff at approximately 20 knots prior to effective translational lift in order to track straight on their takeoff down the runway. I hope this helps clear up transverse flow effect and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.